festivities proclaimed the first new subdivision of Canada's political map in 50 years. As a territory splits in two, its proud people call for unity. I'm overwhelmed with pride. 19 new lawmakers, many of them inexperienced, assume control over 20% of the nation's vast land. Sprawling tundra, remote communities, and tiny islands dotting the frozen Arctic waters. The Prime Minister, himself a former Minister of Indian Affairs, said good leadership is about people. I have watched with great admiration and respect as the people of Nunavut have assumed more and more authority, demonstrating their determination to build a vibrant new territory. But if the long struggle to establish this territory has proved anything, it is the depth of the Inuit commitment to self-determination. I have seen enormous changes in the Arctic over the course of my lifetime. For centuries, the inhabitants of the Arctic regions have been a nomadic people who look to the land to support and sustain them. With an 85% Inuit majority, it is Canada's first de facto experiment with native self-government. This was achieved through peaceful negotiations, without civil disobedience, without litigation. This 35-year-old political novice is a former alcoholic. For him, focusing on self-rule brought a new lease on life. We have established a public government that will represent all the people of Nunavut equally and democratically. The carving out and dream of Nunavut is finally taking shape.